<laughs> What's up everybody? I am back. Actually, I am not back. I don't want to jinx it. Because the last time in my other video I said, I'll be back and more to come. And then nothing came. Here I am and this isn't even my actual YouTube channel. Anyways, now that masks are required, I thought it would be cool to use something other than the standard, you know, medical mask or those masks that you buy from the store or those, even those cloth masks. So I thought that maybe it would be cool to use something like a samurai mask. Now that would be interesting. So the medical mask would be similar to like your underwear. You put your medical mask on and then you put the samurai mask over that. And no, please, I'm not suggesting that you use medical mask as underwear. Although sometimes I do get it mixed up. Now I've searched online for samurai masks or something that I could use that even look like a samurai mask. But really I don't need it to be defensive where you know flying arrow arrows would just bounce off the mask. I just want it because I think it looks cool. So I decided maybe I should try to print one. Now I will say I'm not actually the designer of the mask. The beautiful design was something that I found on thingiverse.com that I'll post links below in the description if you were interested in printing one yourself. All right, so the first thing we're gonna need to do is download the STL from thingiverse.com. We're gonna print this in TPU. TPU is a flexible type of plastic. The next thing I have to do is load the file into my slicer and then configure all the settings. The slicer I personally use is Cura. 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 I think it's Cura. After I do that, I take off the print and it's time to paint. So the paint I'm probably gonna use is your standard type of airbrush paint. Then I'll put some sort of backing on the inside of the mask, uh, probably something like a 1 8 inch thick type of foam, but you know, that's to allow a comfort, comfortable fit onto your face. So we're just gonna slap on some hot glue, stick it onto the back of the mask and call it a day. All right, so there's one more thing that I forgot to mention. We probably got to put straps on the mask so it can be held onto your face like any other mask would. Uh, other than that, I think that's it for this project that I can think of. In any case, let's do this. Alright guys, so that's it for this video. Cut. Whew. That mask is very hard to talk in. But in any case, thank you very much for watching this video. And yeah, I had a lot of fun making it with my five-year-old daughter. Big thanks to my wife for retake, 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 you know, all those video clips and all that stuff. And if you want to see more videos like this, 
don't subscribe because this is more of a photography related channel but if you wanted to see more photography related videos then yeah hit the subscribe button i haven't made one in a while but if you want to show some support that would be great but if you did like this video please hit that like button because that would help a lot and uh, yeah that's pretty much it thank you very much again for watching and i'll see you in the next one all right